Important cargo headed to the space station, installing the thrust behind our return to the moon, and a devastating wildfire seen from space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On November 2nd, our commercial partner Northrop Grumman launched its Cygnus cargo spacecraft from our Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia with about 8,200 pounds of research, crew supplies, and hardware for the crew aboard the International Space Station. The cargo includes a special vest designed to protect astronauts from radiation caused by unpredictable solar particle events. Space Station astronauts will wear the vest and provide input that could be used to improve design and use of the vest to protect crew members on future missions to the Moon and Mars. The Cygnus spacecraft is named after late Apollo and Skylab astronaut Alan Bean, who became the fourth human to walk on the Moon on Apollo 12. Five weeks after delivering more than four tons of supplies, scientific experiments, and hardware to the International Space Station, Japan's HTV-8 cargo spacecraft left the station on November 1st. The cargo delivered by HTV-8 included new lithium-ion batteries to upgrade the older nickel-hydrogen batteries that store power generated by the station's solar arrays. Engineers and technicians at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans are in the process of outfitting the core stage of our Space Launch System or SLS rocket with the RS-25 engines that will help SLS power the first Artemis mission to the Moon. The completed core stage with all four engines attached will be the largest rocket stage NASA has built since the Saturn V stages for the Apollo program. Our Earth-observing Terra satellite captured images of California's devastating Kincaid fire as it burned in Sonoma County, north of San Francisco. Smoke plumes from the blaze, which started October 23rd, can be seen cascading down the California coast. Dry conditions and fierce nearly 100 mile per hour winds, known as Diablo winds, have helped the fire spread quickly and made it extremely difficult to stop. And a mix of creativity and creepiness gave Halloween a bit of a cosmic twist at NASA. Examples of our Halloween spirit include this new image from our Hubble Space Telescope. It looks like a pair of glaring eyes belonging to a spooky face in space, but it is actually a head-on collision between two galaxies just over 700 million light years from Earth. Meanwhile, our Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, released two new vintage horror movie posters as part of a Galaxy of Horrors series highlighting some truly terrifying exoplanets or planets outside our solar system. How's this for scary? One of these exoplanets has an atmosphere full of silicates, the key component in sand and glass that are possibly being whipped around in winds blowing at more than 5,400 miles per hour. Download the posters and learn about other inhospitable exoplanets at go.nasa.gov slash galaxy of horrors. And a pumpkin carving contest at JPL, now in its ninth year, included a number of unique out-of-this-world ideas and designs, truly reflective of what one would expect from NASA. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.